over here from Kizzy's Corner and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my November favourite so if you would like to see what my favourites were doing for the month of November then keep on watching. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter and all that jazz and all the links of them are going to be listed down below and also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe and thank you so much to whoever subscribed to my channel. I really really appreciate it. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, before I start, I would like to mention something um, that was sent to me and I really would like to thank them because I really love the product and it's a pair of glasses. Um, these are non-prescription glasses, but on their website you can actually order prescription glasses. Um, I'm going to be leaving the links down to their website down below as well as a coupon code that you can use when you make your next purchase. So I'm just going to wear them over here. So as you can see, I got mine like this and they have sort of a nice pink shade over here and also on the sides as well. It's not that heavy, but it's not that light as well. So it's of good quality and I think I really like it even though it might seem too big for my face. But in my opinion um, and in my taste, I actually like and prefer bigger glasses on me. Any pair of glasses will look big on me because I have a tiny weenie face. <laughs> Um, but I would like to also add that this company is called Firmo and with the glasses they also send you a cover like this which is so ideal because I tend to leave my glasses running around in my car and they end up getting scratched so with this pocket I can just safely put them inside and they won't get scratched. And they also send you a hard case cover like this which I think is so cute it has like the map of the world around it. And you also get a hanky, you know, to wipe your glasses clean. And it also has the company's name on it over there. So again, their website is going to be listed down below as well as a coupon code if you would like to purchase. The website is very user friendly and it was so easy to place an order. Um, the quality of the glasses is so good and I would highly recommend you go check them out. So let's get started with the video. So my November favorites, um, I don't have that many. I want to keep this video short and sweet, um, so I'm just going to start. So first I'm going to mention some products which were from one particular website and then I will move on to the rest of the products. So I've been using um, this website for a while. I bought a couple of things and I learned that these brands are so good because I've never had tried them before ordering it from this website. And this website is none other but the Beauty Pixie Store. Um, it is an online shopping website and especially it is so good for us Maltese because it is based in Malta and it is free shipping in Malta so if you want to check them out and you are Maltese then I highly recommend you do so if you haven't already and if you are outside of Malta there is going to be international shipping and um, it is coming soon so I would recommend that you would stay tuned on their website. Also, I would like to add that I have a coupon code listed down below for 5% off your next purchase. So be sure to check out my description box. So the first brand that I'm going to be mentioning is Milani. I have been loving um, their products lately and I've been using them constantly. And one of the products that I've been using is the Milani 2-in-1 um, Foundation and Concealer. The Conceal and Perfect Foundation. A lot of people talk about this foundation and I think that it should be talked about because it is such an amazing foundation. It is not cakey, um, it is very high coverage and, and um, it's really good. So I got mine now in the shade Creamy Vanilla and just this is such a perfect shade on me. It's what I have today. At first you would see it like very dark, then it just, you know, lightens up a little. And like as you blend it out as well, it just lightens up. Um, it comes with a pump as well, so, you know, I love, you know, with the pumps, you know, it's so much easier and so ideal. Um, so you don't waste product. Um, the thing is, at first it had like a weird smell to it, but then it just got away. So I don't know what that was exactly, but it did not annoy me <laughs> to the point where I wouldn't use it. I don't know if you understand. Um, the only problem that I find with this foundation is that your pores will magnify to the point where you would be like, <gasps> No. I have that many so I would highly recommend you using a pore primer or a primer underneath whenever you apply this foundation it has definitely been a favorite of mine this month and it's what I'm wearing today just in case you're asking the next thing is a Milani face powder and this one is in the shade 
light medium so I love setting my under eyes with this, I love setting my eye primer with this, my eyelids. I just let, love setting my whole face with this with this powder, especially when using my Milani foundation. Um, I find that it just sets it perfectly. I love the packaging of it, so nice and gold. And then also, if you flip it, you get a mirror. Okay, so there's a mirror. And there's also a sponge, which I don't use, but I think it's so gorgeous because it's gold as well. So yeah, the packaging is beautiful and gorgeous. And again, I got this off the Beauty Pixie store. Another thing, which I got off the Beauty Pixie store, is this eyeliner right here. And it is again by Milani, is the iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner in Black as Black. I just love this, look at that point, it's so sharp and it's just beautiful. It's so easy to create a nice eyeliner look. You can do a tin eyeliner look or you can do a cat eye. I think with this eyeliner everything will work and as you can see it's very nice and sharp. So the next thing I also want to mention is a lipstick, a liquid lipstick and this one is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks and this one is in the shade Nude and is what I'm wearing today. When I actually ordered this, it's from their new autumn shades. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a pink nude, but it turned out to be more of like a peach nude. But I found that it worked on me, even though peach is not my favorite color, but I learned to love this shade nonetheless. They don't really have that much of a smell, and the applicator is so nice because it's it makes it like so easy to apply the liquid lipstick. So I highly recommend these. And again, these were from the Beauty Pixie store. So now we're going to move on to things which I didn't get from the Beauty Pixie store, and but they are things that I've been loving this month. Um, first off, we have Essence, and I have been loving the Stay All Day Concealer Long Lasting for 16 Hour Wear Concealers. I love these. I've got two shades, one light, which is shade 10, which is the natural beige, and then one in shade 20, which is soft beige. I usually use the 10 for highlighting under my eyes and the other one just for covering up blemishes, but I kind of, you know, just switch it up a little bit because um, using either or, it just does such an amazing job and it just sets down nicely onto your skin. And just by applying powder, it just sits very well as well. So the next thing that I want to mention is again of Essence and this one is Lash Princess Volume Mascara. It's what I have on my eye la my eyelashes today and I just love the wand. I think it's so cool and just so out there and it just like separates your lashes so well and it just volumizes them. It doesn't lengthen them but it just, I think, I believe that it just volumizes the lashes. So the next thing I also want to mention is a fine Nina and it's the blush and this one is in the shade 103 because as you know they don't have names and these are so creamy and soft when you touch them and so pigmented as well. They are matte so they are great for people like me who have like slight pores over there in your cheeks so you don't emphasize them because when you use sort of glittery um, blushes they would tend to emphasize them even more. So an eyeshadow palette I have been loving this month has been the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Eyeshadow Palette. It is such a beautiful palette because the packaging of it is so cute and it's magnetic so it's that's pretty cool. It comes with a big mirror as well. It also comes with a brush. It just comes with 12 gorgeous shades as well. They're all matte and they are all so pretty. I have been loving it and I'm just using it all the time during this month and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So the shades that I have on today is Nudie on my eyelids and then Fate and Extra Bitter on in my crease. Um, but my favorites are definitely Fate. I love, love Fate. I love also this one which is Lita, which is a nice plum shade. And I also love Blow, which is such a beautiful highlight shade. Let me swatch three for you guys because I think you should see them. So I'm just going to watch swatch Commando, Tempted and Instinct. I'm going to swatch them over here for you. So there you go. As you can see, they're very pigmented, they're very nice, and they're so creamy as well. And something else that I want to mention is a, another liquid lipstick, and this time it's by MUA, and it's from their Velvet Lip Liquor line. And this one is in the shade Hustle. It's a new autumn shade, and I just simply love it. I've mentioned it in my favorite um, autumn lipsticks, but there you go. It's such a nice brown toned, red toned shade. This is perfect for these cold months. So the final thing that I want to mention is a 
face mask that I have been using recently and it's from the Body Shop is the Seaweed Oil Balancing Clay Mask and it has a weird smell to it I have to say, I have to admit, it just comes like that um, but I apply this once a week and I just love, love applying it because I know that I will get like a nice refreshed um, glow to my skin which I think just, you know, just needs. So I would like to also add a favourite movie that I've watched this month and that has to be Bridget Jones's Baby. I think um, if you are like me, a Bridget Jones fan like from the start, um, you have been looking forward to this movie for a very long time and I wasn't disappointed. I love the movie. It was so nice to see Bridget Jones back with her friends and you know everything. So if you want to go watch a nice you know girly movie then I would highly highly recommend it. Um, and a favorite TV show is actually a show that was recommended to me by my best friend Amy. Um, she told me to watch Stranger Things and it's a Netflix TV show. Um, there's only eight episodes and I think there should be a season two coming soon. There's only season one out for now but I loved it. Luke and I watched it together and it was just amazing. Like what? <laughs> like it's so cool. It's based around this um, the year 1983 so there's no mobile, there's no computers, there's just like <laughs> kids are walkie talkies communicating with each other and you know they just run in with this um, abnormal girl because she has special powers and do telepathy, she, you know kill people just by doing this <laughs> just literally by doing that um, but I just really love it, I love the story behind it um, I think it's a good show so if you like something which is like a thriller and a drama I would highly recommend it. I mean, I would personally not watch it, but Amy said, you know, it's really good. So Luke and I checked it out and Luke is obsessed as well with it. And he's so disappointed that there's no more episodes. But yeah, <laughs> so I hope you like my November favorites. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And follow my blog if you want to see my blog posts, you know, just say. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Bye.